Hello, what's up everyone? This is Shasha SJ again. Today, we are going to use or review a tweezers. <laughs> okay, that's weird. Actually, you guys, we love the tweezers. As, as a card maker or a scrapbooker, we love the tweezers because if we have a very articulate piece of item that we die cuts and then we don't have to use our hand we usually use the tweezers and for example if we have a heat embossing and we don't want to make our fingers burn we use a tweezer it's very very awesome and for now and usually they use this for quilling it's really nice and the one that I have is by um, Quilled Creations Quilled creations so if you want this item check on the description down below right there and i got this at hobby lobby for four dollars and 99 cents and i get lucky to get this it's been a while that i've been wanting this because i have the other one that i have and it's not holding it right anyway here we go i love the color it's purple purple and then they have this tiny little thing to hold your thing because this is kind of pokey. Not as pokey as it is. It's not. It's kind of dull. It's it's not pokey. What you're talking, if what you're thinking, it's just dull, pokey, but it's pointy, right? So the one thing that I like is that when you open it, boom! Look at that. How cool is that? So it's not the one that was open, but then you have to hold it when you really want or when you're going to drop the thing. So it's not like there's a free time for you to do anything because this one is closes it. When you pick up some things, like for example, let's just say with this sequence that you want. And you want to pick the... Hopefully it works. The tiniest sequence. Boom. It's free hand. You don't have to hold it in with your finger. So it's already and it's really cool. See how cool that is? And this is just a sequence. And look at this. Boom. Here you go. Look at that. That is beautiful, isn't it? So when you glue on something, you are not like using your thumb all the time, especially with those has a carpal tunnel and you use your thumb and point finger all the time. And those are very painful, you guys, I promise. I have those sometimes. Anyway, so when you use this, I have this kind of piece of paper down here and I reuse this all the time for some purposes. And I have this paper closer look and this one I have this flower down here and all we have to do is we can just like add a glue okay so this is my flower and I want to put some flowers in it and I don't want to touch it let's just pretend it be like really girl you're using your tweezer Sometimes it's just the best way it is, so you're not touching the glue. And this one would be nice for brown. Usually this is, I think they use this sometimes for um, jewelry making. But usually as a card maker, we use this when we have a die cut paper that was very articulate and then it's very, you have to use your gentle fingers because you don't want to smear your glue out of your paper. So, usually we use this for picking up some tiny pieces or the one that you just die cut. And they're very nice they're sturdy and I would recommend this 
and this is the one it's this is one of my list that I've been wanting because I've been wanting to have one of these picker or something and I know you can use I I I know that you can have you seen my other one that is um, the pick me up one on my one of my tutorials but this one is one of it that you can use it so it's like really really nice and pretty so you can push it down with the glue in there and I love the idea of it's easy to pick up some stuff and you just drop it see how cool that is and you can just arrange it without using your finger because sometimes our finger are like fatty <laughs> so sometimes you touch the glue and it, you just smear the glue and you won't be happy you're not happy especially when you smear it so what do you think guys how cool is that isn't it I would say I would give this a thumbs up a 10 so I really really like it and it's super easy to use and I'm not using even the whole strength of my own input when I'm using this kind of my thumb and my point finger so I would recommend this guys so if you want to get this quilled creations or a tweezer go to the description down below and check them out right there down there all right and yeah this is very awesome guys and i hope you like my tutorials and hopefully you guys come back next time for my other tutorials that i'm going to show and thank you guys for watching shasha sj come back next time you have an awesome awesome day take care you guys bye